Hi, how are you doing? On this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of a lifeboat drill for your family business. So I'll be covering what they are, what they cover, and the benefits of doing so. My name is Russ Hayworth. I'm a specialist family business advisor, and I help family businesses like yours navigate the complexities that come from being in business together. So what do we mean by a lifeboat drill? Well, in the truest sense, sailors before they go out to sea will do a lifeboat drill. They will practice what happens in the worst case scenario so that they become able to deal with that if that particular scenario crops up. So in a family business context, what I mean by lifeboat drill is looking at some of the what if and disaster scenarios that could happen within your own family business and looking at the implications of those happening. You can then assess whether that is what you want to happen or whether you perhaps need to have a chat as a family to try and stop a particular scenario for happening. So if we use an example of the death of the main shareholder within the family business. Now it's a lifeboat drill, so it doesn't actually mean it's happened, but you're planning for what would happen in that circumstance. So if you imagine that has happened to the main shareholder in your business, what happens to that person's shares? What happens to their um, overall estate, what happens to their role within the family business. If you plot that out and look at what the consequences of that are and you're unhappy with that, that's a good sign, a good signal that you've got time to go out and do something about it. You're not having to deal with that in the event of that actual scenario happening. Other scenarios where it's useful to do this is also through things like a divorce, for example. What happens in a divorce if the main shareholder in the business were to um, get divorced from, from their uh, husband or wife? What are the implications of that on the business? What will that mean for you as a family? Are there things that you can then do about that? It's not all disaster scenarios either. There are very happy events that will have a knock-on effect and an implication on your family business. So births and marriages, what happens in the event of these and what impact does that have on your business is something else that I would suggest you look at. And the idea is by practicing these scenarios when they haven't happened or before they happen, it means that you can spot where there's areas that you might want to pay a bit more attention to. The prime example is on death, unfortunately, where there's no plan, where there's no will in place, that kind of thing. It can have unintended consequences that can cause a lot of trouble for families at a time when there's already a lot of emotion around because they've lost somebody they um, care deeply about. It also has implications for things like succession planning, because in essence, if you don't have a succession plan for ownership of those shares in place, it will only be dealt with on the death of the person that is owning those shares. So by highlighting what happens, it's also a way of triggering that conversation around, is this what we want? Do we need to deal with this succession issue before this happens, for example? Another relevant scenario, given what we're living through at the moment, is what if another pandemic came along? What if another global event occurred within the business? Can we use what's happened over the last 12 months as an opportunity to learn and reflect and say, actually, we're unhappy with the way that certain decisions were made and how the process was followed for making those decisions. Therefore, we need to put new processes in place to deal with that. Or we were really happy with the way in which we reacted to this particular element and therefore we want to document that so that we learn from that next time. We don't forget that we were able to adapt and make improvements to certain things throughout a really troublesome time. So in essence, a lifeboat drill is looking at the various scenarios of things that can happen within your family business and the impact of that on the business and the family. And then that gives you the opportunity to look at whether that's how you expect things to happen and make changes if necessary. If you want any help looking at these, please do get in contact. We'll be more than happy to help. Contact details are below or at the end of this video. Until next time, take care.